Hey, what's going on, guys? The Bell Dam is back for a brand new video. And this video is going to be showcasing a new item I got today in the mail. But it's also going to be a review of a personal favorite movie from my childhood. The movie I'm talking about is the amazing, awesome, classic monster flick that stars Fred Ward and Kevin Bacon. That is the original Tremors. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been wanting to talk about this movie for so long. And I do talk about it quite often because this movie is one of my favorite movies of all time. I freaking love this. Um, before I get and before I do the review of it, I'm going to showcase something of like it ties into this like on the mail. So I don't buy a lot from Arrow videos. Uh, they're a cool company, but I'm more of a... They like they just don't buy a lot of titles that I'm familiar with. They... Like, let me strike that rubber. Strike that. They don't release a lot of titles that I'm familiar with. But once in a while, they'll release a title that I have to buy. And when they announced their release of a... Tremors release. I was over the moon. <laughs> this is so awesome. This is like... My god. I... I would compare this to maybe... Even though probably the Halloween fans it wouldn't be in the same week. <laughs> but... I would compare this to the Halloween Deluxe box set that Shout Fact Scream Factor released. That was my level of excitement for it. And you can see like the cover right there. I'm just gonna show you what's inside. Because it comes, I'm just, oh my god, this comes with so many features. I'm just so excited to watch this. Comes with all these postcards. There's the doctor being swallowed by the graboid. There's Ward and Bacon. It's a little, uh, Advertisement. And I don't know what this is, but this is freaking, this is awesome. And it comes with some posters too. I'm probably going to keep the posters in the box, though. 
but I don't know. Should I leave, should I post them up? Double-sided poster, that's the new artwork. And there's the classic poster. And it comes with this little booklet that just talks about the movie, has some, oh, has some photos. So yeah, that's everything in the um that comes with it. Now <clears throat> onto the actual review. So I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna explain what this movie is about because pretty much everyone knows what this movie is about. It's about a couple of handymen played by Ed Ward and uh, Kevin Bacon who are stuck in this dead end job in this town they want to get out of they want to move on to bigger they want to move on to better things and the day they actually try to leave is the day when everything goes to shit because apparently there are uh, there are people being killed outside of their little town and <clears throat> this they discover a uh, they discover it's a, a underground. They discover it's a group of subterranean carnivorous worms, and they have to do what they can to survive. Yeah. So, I think I just butchered that synopsis, but I think you get like everyone seeing this movie knows what I'm talking about. So why is this movie so important to me? Well. When I was growing up, I was a bonafide horror fan. I love horror. I always have. But my mom didn't want me watching horror movies at her house. And I recently discovered, I recently talked to her about this and asked her why that is. And she apparently said, she said that the reason it was because my uh, psychiatrist, or uh, yeah, just my psychiatrist, uh, the person who handles my files, she said that I don't. Th she said she didn't think it would be good if I was allowed to watch movies at home, or allowed to watch horror movies at home, because she thought I couldn't. She said that I couldn't tell the difference between, like, reality and fiction, apparently, because I was a really young kid. I don't think that's entirely true. I really don't. I think that's complete nonsense. Because I watched movies like this, and I was completely fine. So, that's the reason I wasn't allowed to watch movies at my own house. Or horror movies. Like, but... That didn't stop me from watching horror movies. I went over to my friends and my grandmother's to watch movies, and this was one of the first horror movies I remember watching on VHS. And I just remember watching it over and over and over again. This is such a freaking... This is one of my favorite movie... Favorite flicks to watch. And... I, I don't know why, honestly. I don't know why I kept watching. I was just so... I watched I rewatched a lot of movies. I honestly did. I didn't... I didn't... I didn't rewatch. I didn't watch a movie, then just move on with my life. There were movies that I actually I rewatched. You guys can understand this. Like, we all do this. But 
it was one of those movies that I I just remember rewatching and loving, you know? This movie is this movie is just awesome. It's so iconic, it's so quotable, it has some great special effects that still hold up to this day, and I cannot wait to see what they look like on the new transfer. Uh, and even though I love this first movie, I've always been a fan, I've been a fan of the franchise. I have been a fan of the franchise. Uh, I've watched all the way up to Cold Day in Hell. I haven't seen Shrieker Island yet, but I plan to. And even though the third one isn't the most, the Tremors 3 isn't the most widely loved of the franchise, that was the only other one that I remember rewatching more than this one. So, yeah, that's just my, I don't have any, like, big grand story, I don't have any, like, big grand story about, like, why I love this franchise. I just freaking love it. This is one of my first horror, this is one of the first horror movies I watched, and it just made me fall in love with the genre. I was a really young kid when I watched this, and it just had that kind of influence. It's just a great, great monster movie. Even though it has its flaws, like the whole, uh, the whole editing of, like, the curse words... Mother Humper. This should have been like an R-rated movie, honest, in my honest opinion. It would have been so much better if it was R-rated. But it's still a great, amazing movie. And... I will give Tremors... 5 out of 5 stars. It's... Awesome. So... Thank you for watching this video of my little haul and review of Tremors, and I will see you in the next one.